Hi everyone, it's Nat, and today I'm here with my June wrap-up. So I actually did really good in June. I read um, five and a half-ish books, which I'm pretty pumped about. Some of them are actually pretty big, so that's good. That's a lot of reading for me. But I read some seriously great books this month. I think everything that I read, I rated four or five stars, I'm, I'm pretty sure. But yeah, I read some great books this month, so I'm excited to share with you guys. Alright, the first book I read way back at the beginning of March. I actually started it in May, but then I finished it in June. So, um, that is This Shattered World by Amy Kaufman and Megan Spooner. It's the second book in the, um, I think, Starbound trilogy. This was really good. I, I enjoyed the first one, but I definitely didn't love it. But the second one I thought was so good. I loved the new characters. I loved... The, this new plot and the love story between our, um, the two new characters in The Shattered World better than in the first book. I just thought it was better written, the plot was better. I think I gave it four out of five stars and then I think I gave um, These Broken Stars just three. But yeah, I really loved this second book. Okay, the next book I read is seriously one of my new favorite books. It is so good and that is Ready Player One by Ernest Klein. I've always heard great things about this book, but I just never picked it up until um, I was taking a trip to Sydney and I read it on my Kindle, and oh my gosh, this book, seriously, if you haven't read it, you should go read it because it's amazing. Like, I, I seriously cannot say enough good things about it. Pretty much Ready Player One is about this, like, virtual reality where a bunch of people are competing to earn this huge treasure. There's just so much more to it, and the characters are amazing, the plot is amazing, how I, they all, like, solve this treasure hunt is just so great. It's hilarious, there's lots of action, it's just literally everything is in this book. I think, like, I don't even know what else to say about it, it's just so good. Um, yeah, I definitely give it 5 out of 5 stars. So good, highly recommend. Right, the next book I read is also a 5 out of 5 stars book, and that is The Name of the Wind by Patrick Rothsfuss. Roth I cannot say this last name. Rothfuss. Or Patrick Rothsfuss. It's so hard. But anyways, this book was amazing. I seriously think this is one of the best written books I have ever read. The writing is beautiful. It just explains everything so well. Literally, the writing in this book is incredible. But um, pretty much this is about um, our main character, Quoth, who is honestly this complete BA person. And there's like this magic system that seems really cool in it. And pretty much this is just the story of Quoth's life. Um, there's like on the back, it says, I have stolen princesses back from sleeping borrow kings. I burned down the town of Trayvon. I have spent the night with Felurian and left with both my sanity and my life. I was expelled from the university at a younger age than most people are allowed in. I tread paths by moonlight that others fear to speak of during day. I have talked to gods, loved women, and written songs to make the minstrels, minstrels weep. My name is Quoth. You may have heard of me." And pretty much it's just, yeah, about his life, and I don't even know how to explain it, but it's so good. It's just this completely epic tale of everything that he gets into. You follow him from about the age of nine, I think, up until until his adulthood and just you follow everything and it's just again cannot say enough great things about this book all right next i picked up zenith by sasha allsberg and lindsey cummings and i thought this was really good it's just the first part to their whole book so it's not a full book but I, yeah i thought it was a really great start i love the storyline it's about space pirates and you guys can go check out um sasha allsberg's channel i think it's just a book utopia um, cause that's, it's, she co-writes this book and she tells you everything about it, but yeah, pretty much it's just about space pirates and yeah, I thought it was really good and I'm really excited for the rest of the book to come out. The next book I read in the month of June was The Crown by Kier Cass. This is the fifth and final book in the whole selection series and I thought it was so good. Um, I think I gave it five out of five stars, but I definitely think it was the worst of all of the books. Um. I don't know, I thought that it didn't need to be its own book. I thought that Edelin's story could really just be told in one book, uh, but I did really enjoy it. I I love how Kira Cass writes. I think it's just, she can tell such a great story, and it, but it's so easy to read. 
I don't know, yeah, I really like the way she writes, so I read this book in like one day, I think. Um, but yeah, it was really good, it was just the finishing up of Edelin's selection, and yeah, I just I thought it was really good, and I'm sad the series is over. <laughs> Alright, so those are all the books I finished in June. Um, I have started The Wise Men's Fear by Patrick Rothfuss. I'm about 500 pages through, and it's a thousand page book, so there's a lot here. But, um, yeah, I haven't finished this one yet, but I did read most of it. I haven't finished this one yet, but I hope to soon. Alright, that is it, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I had a great reading month. I Seriously, every single book I read was fantastic. But, yeah, thanks for watching, you guys, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!